I'm Janice Edwards. We've been talking about learning for life today, and one of the most challenging lessons can be how to save and then how to grow your assets. So in order to help us with that, we're talking with Jill Sturm, who's the Financial Services Director of EARN, which is a program that really matches dollar for dollar up to $2,000 for people who are beginning to save. Jill, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Janice, for having me here today. Now, this is an acronym for EARN, which is a perfect one for Earned Assets Recovery Network. Resource Network. Resource Earned Net Assets Resource, Resource Network. Network. Exactly. And I said a little bit about how it works, but could you explain more in depth? Sure. So EARN is a Bay Area based nonprofit and we work with people towards building assets to break the cycle of poverty and to create prosperity for generations to come. That's a big ambition. It is. How do you do it? The way we do that is through a variety of financial products and services. So we offer micro savings. We're the largest provider of micro savings in the nation. And that is what you referred to as the match savings account. So people can join our program, they can save up to $2,000 and have it matched two to one. So at the completion of the program, they'll have $6,000 towards a first time home purchase, small business entrepreneurship, or an education. That's amazing. What do you have to do to qualify for the program? So our program is open to low wage families that are Bay Area residents and there's financial education coupled with the savings. So in addition to learning to save money through our program, people are building the skills that they can take throughout their life to continue to save, learning to budget, learning about credit, and le learning really the important next steps that they'll need on their path to prosperity. That is such a wonderful gift that you're providing. And I think especially during these times, many people might feel like, suppose they've lost their job, they're trying to rebuild from a place and their income is lower, that there's not a lot of hope or opportunity. But this really provides them with that. It does, and we've actually really seen an impact in this current economy with people that previously wouldn't have qualified for our program now do because their income has gone down substantially. So we're really grateful that we, we are here and we're available to help people to really take that next step towards getting back on the path to prosperity. And really, we've seen some amazing stories, you know, people that are really inspiring us every day that are overcoming obstacles and changing those stories from you know the the past into really a hero story for the future. And that is very inspiring. One of the stories involves a family. It's the Edwards family. I should say that's no relation. But why don't you share what happened for them? Right. So Helena Edwards and her family had been in a series of situations where they were forced to move. And Helena, I should back up and say that she was a foster child and had grown up in a foster family. So after a series of having to relocate her own family and her own children, she one day came home to her house and the landlord's home was being foreclosed on, so therefore there was an eviction notice. So Helena decided that was the last time she was gonna move. So she found Earn, she started saving money, went through her financial education classes and was able to purchase a home here in San Francisco. And that is amazing. Over what period of time did that happen? Usually people are in our program in about, in about two years. Wow. They do a lot of work and they often have to really work on their credit and really build up their savings. But that discipline continues throughout their life and again teaching and modeling for the children. Another part about Helena's story that's very inspiring is that she now too is a foster parent and has recently been certified to have her home be a group home for foster children. So How she's wonderful. continuing to give back. Wow, to go from eviction to that, to mm -hmm. providing a home for others. That is a powerful testimony and so exciting it that is. you're doing that. I think one of the challenges many times can be in addition to just learning the ABCs of credit building is changing the emotional relationship with money because we know that that's one of the primary causes in divorce is often cited and how we feel about money shapes so many things in our lives. That's true. It really, in a lot of ways, it can be very much like sort of a scar tissue that we carry with us. And I think part of our program really helps people to identify and to tap into some of those emotions to let them be able to move on. So we offer really a very holistic approach with money management training, also with coaching, to really help people improve their future and, and really break through some of those patterns. Jill, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you joining us. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for the work that you're doing to make a difference in our communities. Great. Thank you. If you'd like to contact Earn, the information is there on our screen also at bayareavista.com. 
I'm Janice Edwards, and now we're talking with Reverend Floyd Trammell, who is the executive director of the West Bay Conference Center here in the Fillmore in San Francisco. Thanks for hosting us today. It's exciting to see what's going on with the Académie de Cuisine and yes. all of that. Now, how did this relationship come about? Well, I had the uh, wonderful privilege of meeting the uh, Academy uh, de Cuisine while attending uh, a special event at the Ellie Hill Hutch Community Center um, at 1050 McAllister um, and had the opportunity to meet the staff, the administrative staff, and really was impressed with uh, their professionalism and invited them to come over to our location just to do a site visit. Um, and out of that relationship, we were able to birth a partnership, which I'm very happy is, is excelling. Yes, we've been in the kitchen where delicious things are going on. So that yes. must be fun every day. Yes. Do, you, do you get some of the, <laughs> the, Ama the lunches? <laughs> Amazingly, they bring me a meal every day. It's saving my, my lunch pocket. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So it's great to chase their breakfast and their lunch and, and the fact that they're able to just do some marvelous things. Um, yesterday, actually, um, we had San Francisco Head Start here. And so they were able to kind of see some things of how they're Catering had presented their presentation and things they might do in the future and yes. catering in the future. And that's really what yes. the West Bay Conference Center is about, too, is totally. helping youth who come through yes. have a vision for their future yes. as well as helping community members of all ages. What other programs do you offer here? Well, we have a, a plethora of programs that are, are housed within here in, at West Bay. Uh, we have Mo Magic Youth Services, uh, which provides uh, programming for youth uh, through the city. Um, and also partnerships among nonprofits here in the city as well. Uh, we have Black Infant Health Improvement Project, uh, which provides um, healthy babies for and healthy educational programs for mothers who are expecting children. Um, we have um, also the African Immigrant and Refugee Resource Center, which provides services to immigrants. Um, we have Urban Solutions, which provides small business loans to small emerging businesses uh, in, in the area. Uh, we also have Brothers for Change, which focuses on helping to get uh, young men to have make more positive choices in their life um, by giving them sort of um, some access to programs. Um, we have the Fillmore Community Benefits District, which is concerned about the safety and marketing um, of this area here in Fillmore. Uh, we also have the uh, uh, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is fighting the calls for civil rights yes. here uh, throughout the Bay Area. Um, and then we also have the St. John Coltrane Church, which provides uh, some um, services and um, activities to help uh, bridge the musical gap for youngsters in the community. Yes. So we've got we a, have a, a lot viable, going on here. A lot of a lot of different programs, but we're just so happy that now we have this new emerging and fledging uh, culinary program uh, that uh, Chef Angelo and through the viable work of Carmen. Um, is just excelling in such a way. And what we really hope is that we'll have a, a broader diversity population, student population, and that persons would really get enrolled um, in the program. I believe they have a, 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 another class starting on November 15th. And so we really want a more, di more diversity, more ethnicities to, to understand that there's some valuable uh, services that are provided here at West Bay. They can get enrolled immediately and get the skills because one thing is for sure, uh, the restaurant business is very thriving in San Francisco and you wanna have those skills. Well, thank you for all that you're doing. You really have a positive impact in our communities with all of the programs. If you'd like more information about the West Bay Conference Center, it's on our screen also at bayareavista.com.